Hey Capricorn, good morning. This is going to be your love reading here for January 1st to the 15th. Sorry I'm a little late, but welcome back to my channel, Emerald Elements. We're just going to go ahead and shuffle these. See what's going on in love. We have the Seven of Pentacles, Ace of Swords in the reverse, Nine of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, Prince of Pentacles, Prince of Cups. Okay, Cap. So you're moving forward and you're maturing. I see there is maturity here. Um, some of you guys may be leaving behind a relationship that you're just, you've been in for a while and you've been evaluating it and you're noticing you're not going to get exactly what you want from this relationship here, okay? So you're taking what you have learned from this relationship and you're moving forward now. You may not even um, be telling this person how you're feeling, or you're not sure if you want to tell them, or you're not sure what direction you should go in, but I do see you being single for um, those of you getting out of a relationship. For those of you in a relationship here, I do see um, progress that is needed here, and progress that is going to be made. Um, some of you guys may be interested in another earth sign, or earth and water sign, okay? So let's go ahead and take a look at the Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles, we have the Ace of Wands in the reverse and the Eight of Swords in the reverse. I don't think you're going to take a leap of faith with whoever this person is that you are reevaluating. With the Ace of Wands, I do see an offer being turned down. And someone's turning the offer down because they don't want to stay stuck with this person, is what I'm getting here, okay? We have the Ace of Swords in the reverse. get out of their head. They feel they feel restricted with this person. They feel like they're not going to get any sort of growth with this person. And Capricorn, I feel like you are wanting something more. You're wanting more growth. So, to clarify the Ace of Swords in the reverse, we have the Magician and the Eight of Pentacles. So I feel like you are going about it alone here. Um, for couples, I do see um, something working out here. Um, with the magician, someone could have initiated something or you're thinking about initiating something that's going to bring you guys together closer with the Eight of Pentacles, just really working on the relationship. If you are leaving someone behind or someone's leaving you, they are wanting to start new. I'm getting very single energy here. Queen of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, Magician. So someone is off in a new direction and is just focusing on themselves, focusing on their coin, their money, their work, where they, um, what they really want. We have the Nine of Cups. Maybe there is some sort of 
decision that you guys are talking about, maybe um, starting up a family or what have you, and someone may uh, still be trying to decide. So, to clarify the Nine of Cups, we have the Lovers and the Two of Pentacles. So there is a decision here that um, someone is going back and forth with, and I feel like this is you, Capricorn, whether um, you want to be single or whether you want to um, be in a commitment with someone here. Okay, the Lovers is all about decisions. These two cards talk about decisions here. <clears throat> but whatever decision that you do make, Capricorn, you are going to be satisfied with it, okay? We have the Queen of Pentacles. For some of you, that decision is just being single. Let's see, why is the Queen of Pentacles here? So the Queen of Pentacles is here because of the star in the reverse and the Five of Pentacles in the reverse. So someone here with the star card in the reverse does not want to reach out. They do not want to rejuvenate this this relationship here. Someone here is very focused on themselves. I feel like this relationship here was draining to somebody, so now they are just focused on filling up their own cup, okay? Whoever this Queen of Pentacles is, I do not, I see them getting over the sadness of it all with the Five of Cups in the reverse, and they're just focusing on themselves, their own stability, their own growth, their own money. We have the Prince of Pentacles in the re upright. Okay, we'll take those. <laughs> so, to clarify the Prince of Pentacles, we have the Tower in the reverse, the Princess of Cups, upright, and Strength upright. So, I feel like this Queen of Pentacles is still this Prince of Pentacles. You are moving forward at a steady pace. You are moving forward cautiously. Um, with the Tower in the reverse, you are rebuilding and you realize that you deserve more. You are definitely listening to your intuition here. This may be somebody coming back. There's a water sign offering some sort of apology or something like that for some of you. But I see you holding back, or I just see you listening to your intuition, following your emotions, and what it's telling you to do is move forward, rebuild, claim your strength. We have the Prince of Cups. You know, know your worth. So, to clarify the Prince of Cups, we have the Hanged Man in the Queen of Swords in the reverse. So someone may be coming through with some type of offer here. But with the Hanged Man, I see someone uh, drinking. I see someone stuck. And with the Queen of Swords in the reverse, someone here is um, hmm, someone here is not going to make the decision that they need to make in order to uh, move forward here. This could be you or this could be somebody else. We have Gemini here. And they're showing up in the reverse. This person could be stuck because of the actions that you are taking. Maybe you want to move on Capricorn. And, um, you know, this person may be trying to make you stay. Offering an apology. Okay, so that's all I have for you. Let's go ahead and choose an oracle card. 
Um, personal readings, you can find my information in the description box below. They range from $3 to $20. We have co-create. Go ahead and see what it says. Connections of the heart serve to inspire you, opening you up to new ideas you would never have come to on your own. You are looking in a mirror held up by this experience and seeing yourself in an unexpected way. Who is this extraordinary being looking back at you? You are going to be so happy that you kept your heart open. Your love is a unique work of art now, the very embodiment of beauty. Okay. That's all I have for you, Capricorn. Um, thank you for watching. And you can find more information in the description box below. Take care.